Well, hello YouTube. I'm going to be installing uh, DOS 6.22 from a CD. So first we will need a DOS 6.22 bootable floppy to start up the computer. Then I'll create a primary partition using F-Disks. Then I'll format the drive with the slash S command to copy the system files from the floppy drive to the new C drive and thus making the C drive bootable. And then I'll complete the installation from the CD. So we need to get a bootable um, CD. This is one place where you can get one. So I go to boot disk and I get DOS 6.22 bootable floppy. Download the file. Once it finishes downloading, put a blank floppy in your floppy drive and double click the file. The process takes about a minute or two to complete. You could also make an um, image of the diskette if uh, you prefer to use that instead of an actual diskette. When the process finishes, leave the diskette in the floppy drive because we're going to be using it to start up the machine. Okay, let's go to uh, VMware and create a new DOS machine. By selecting other, there's MS-DOS. Click next and um, <coughs> click next and select your networking type. Uh, allocate some disk space. I'm gonna give it one gig. That's plenty for this DOS machine. After you finish it, creating it, make sure that you have that floppy in your floppy drive, and uh, then start up the machine. Okay, the machine booted off the floppy successfully. So now at the A prompt, we're going to type F disk to create a primary partition to install DOS 6.22 in. After you type F disk, uh, you can pretty much take all the defaults unless you have a reason to select something different, but I'm creating a primary part DOS partition. So I've taken all defaults at this point. I'm going to click yes to make the partition active and um, the machine will reboot. Once it uh, finishes rebooting, we will uh, format the newly created primary partition. Okay, uh, it's back up now. I'm going to type format C drive colon forward slash s. This will cause the system files to be installed and make the C drive bootable. This uh, goes rather quickly. As you can see, it has already finished formatting and installing the system files. You can only see command con and a couple of hidden files such as io.sys and msdos.sys were installed but there is no dos directory where the rest of dos would be installed i will remove the floppy from the floppy drive and restart the computer and as we can see it, it will boot off of the hard drive and uh, it will inform us that we have MS-DOS version 6.22 installed, which technically we do, but none of the other programs are installed yet. Let's look at another machine, this one DOS 6, that it's fully installed so we can compare the contents in the C drive of this uh, DOS 6 virtual machine versus the 6.22 DOS machine that we're installing off of the CD. I installed this machine using uh, the floppies 
not the CD. In the CD, I backed up all the files that came in the floppies for the DOS 6.22 installation. And as you can see, there is a DOS directory and there is a command com and also has a config sys file and an auto exec batch file. Let's take a look at the CD now. Um, this is the CD where I have uh, all the disk, the contents of all the diskettes for DAS 6.22. I have it in an ISO, so I will mount it. Use I will mount it m using uh, my virtual um, CD-ROM, DVD-ROM. Uh, I'm using Daemon tools for that, so we can take a look at the files. These are the files. As you can see, all the files that end with the underscore character are compressed. And they get decompressed when uh, you run the setup program. I am going to dismount to see the image off of uh, Daemon Tools and mount it directly into the virtual, virtual machine's uh, CD-ROM just to show how to do this step. I could have just as easily left it, left the image in uh, Daemon Tools and use it from there. But so now I'm going to start up the machine, and um, we have the same step where we were before, where uh, we only have the system files installed and not, nothing else. So the goal now is to um, install the rest of DOS 6.22 off of the CD. Now to do that, <coughs> we need to uh, reboot the machine and select the boot menu and select boot from CD. So to reboot, press uh, Control Alt Insert and then after it reboots, press the Escape key just once to go into the uh, boot menu and then from the boot menu select uh, choice number three uh, CD-ROM. The PC boots from the CD-ROM and here you get two choices. Choose number one installed MS-DOS 6.22 and then this goes into the installation. Now it thinks it already has DOS but we know it's not fully installed, so we want to install over it. Go ahead and choose the, the DOS folder to install and see how quickly the installation goes off of the CD. And uh, this is it. Remove the disks from the floppy drives, which we shouldn't have any. We're doing it off the CD-ROM and reboot. And now MS-DOS 6.22 is fully installed on your machine. Now I'm going to reboot just to go in there and verify that it is fully installed and as you can see before we only had the command con now we have a DOS directory and a config sys and a auto accept batch file and uh, those are the files in the DOS directory I get the music. Gazing at you, I get the heat following you. I climb the mountain, I get.
get excited.